my name is Chris.com. And with the help of my friend from YouTube, Ron T, man, we're gonna help you ladies find a man and make him notice you. Don't worry, don't worry, ladies of the world. We have heard your cries of help. And for all you women out there who are like, mm -mm, I don't need no help. My good looks, I can get any man I want in the world. Calm yourself, okay? Calm yourself because you're wrong. You cannot get every guy in the world just based on looks. Because guys have gotten a lot smarter over the years, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm gonna help you out. So number one, your appearance. Now ladies, I'm not asking you to go out to the closest plastic surgery place and get your whole face redone. That's not what I'm trying to say. Just hear me out, okay? When I talk about appearance, I'm talking about looking the best you could possibly look, okay? Like you can't look like Shrek and expect to get a prince. It just doesn't work like that. You may get a Fiona to your Shrek, but you cannot get a prince to your Shrek. It doesn't work. Have you seen the movie? You can't dress up any type of way and expect guys to throw themselves at your feet. You gotta dress up and let them know, hey niggas, I'm over here and I'm ready for you. Come and get it. Don't be real aggressive and creepy and crazy and weird. But just make sure you stay on top of your game. We don't want to see a sloppy girl. We want to see the girl dressed up in her finest linens. And you never know who's watching you. And you don't want the best person that you could have ever met in your life to walk right on past you. Because you was looking terrible. You woke up out of bed. Like life just sucked. I've had a friend who legit did not give a damn what they look like and they complained constantly to me why no guys were hitting on her. I was like, girl, you ugly. That's it. There is no other way to explain it except the fact that you don't try so guys don't want to try for a girl who doesn't want to try. If you know what I mean, I don't lie. Mmm, I'm sky high. Tip number two, listening. Listen, girls, okay? Listen. Yes, there are some guys in the world who you will talk to and it will be completely fine with sitting there and listening to every single thing you say. But that's not always the case. You will come across guys, ladies, that do want to talk and do want to express their feelings and you have to learn how to shut up. The same for the fellas. Hey, dudes, don't talk so much because your girl want to talk sometimes. And if you're always talking, they're going to want to dump you. I can tell you that right now. I've talked to too many girls where they talk, 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 and talk, and I don't get to say anything. And for that, I just get annoyed, and I just don't feel like talking to them anymore. Now, tip number three is flirting, ladies and gentlemen. But flirting is a very, very big topic, so I'm gonna talk about one of the subtopics of flirting, which is body language. And I'm gonna start off by saying, a lot of you women have been told a specific way how to deal with body language, and you've been taught wrong. Whoever told you that you could act like you're not interested to get a guy to be interested in you so you could be interested in him back later on does not, does, it doesn't make sense. It's very stupid and it's a dumb logic. I don't necessarily think it's a dumb logic. It's just that, guys, we're not going to catch on to your little games and tricks as fast as you would like us to. So sometimes give us a little hint, give us a little nudge, like, he doesn't love me. Just... Man, I don't know. Some guys just don't show their emotions as well as you would like them to. Just ask them how he feels. If you ask us the right way, we not gonna lie to you. Well, I won't. But when you constantly act like you're not interested in the guy, let's say he actually falls for it, and then you guys end up happily ever after, well, not really, but you guys end up in a relationship, it's gonna be one awkward relationship because in the back of the guy's mind, he's gonna be like, what was the point of acting not interested in me if you were interested in me in the first place? It is just a big mind F people. Another quick key thing about flirting, ladies and gentlemen, is laughter. Laughter is an amazing thing. Laughter can get you. Uh, laughter can get you. What, what, can, what can laughter get you? Laughter can be a powerful thing, and you may not know this, but laughter legit can be the reason why the guy ends up liking you. Guys like telling jokes. Guys like proving to people that they're funny, even though they may not be funny, and they may be the worst person when it comes to telling jokes. So what you have to do as a woman or as a girl or as a baby trying to convince a guy that, hey, I'm available, I'm single, please notice me, you have to make him believe that you actually find him funny. Now, if he's actually funny, then that's a bonus. You can laugh even harder at his jokes. But if he's not funny, then you will still have to laugh at those bad jokes. So yeah, like, I was like, dude, I bet you can't chug, like, the whole can. Like, it was like two liters. It was, it was crazy, man. Like, he did it, but like, I was like, aren't you, like, are you, are you alive? You know? Like, are you, 
You like you? Are you good? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> And even though he may be a psychopath who lets his friends drink two liters of beer and pass out in the front lawn of a party and not check if he's alive, if you like him and you want him to notice you, then you have to laugh at those jokes. Last but not least, guys, tip number four is be yourself. You don't know how many times I've said this to girls and they just don't believe me. They're just like, no, I can't, I can't be myself around him. It just doesn't work. Well, if you can't be yourself around him, then why are you around him? Just like, why? Like, like, dude, there's no way to explain it. Just, if you can't be 100% yourself around the guy you like, then no, then, then it shouldn't be, you shouldn't be around him in the first place. Now, don't get me wrong. If you are just like a natural shy girl then, and you need time to like open up, then fine. But if this is lasting like weeks and weeks of talking to him, you just can't be 100% yourself, then you really need to, to, I don't know, just get a pep talk from your friend or something, but... Thank you guys for watching this video. It has been a great collaboration with my friend Ron. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment everything, okay, that you see. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Curse.com, and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Just, man, I don't know.